everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm just going to be laying down the paints and um, using what's called Magic Gack. And I got my inspiration from Sarah Taylor. And uh, let's go over my paints. My first one today is Amsterdam Pearl Blue. My second paint is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold Mine. My third paint is Folk Art Burnt Sienna and also mixed with Golden Iridescent Copper. I just made that a little bit darker than regular copper. My next color is Liquitex Basics Elzarin Crimson Hue mixed with Golden Iridescent Silver very pretty color. My next color is the Golden Fluid Acrylics in the green gold. Next paint is Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash. Next paint is Modern Masters Venetian Blue. And my last paint is Golden Fluid Acrylics in the Payne's Gray. And let me show you consistency on that. Very liquidy. And I'll tell you the pouring medium for these paints today is uh, one part paint, four parts GAC 800, and I did add a little water. Now, the magic GAC that I'm going to use, consider it like a base coat, but I start out with a plain canvas, no base coat down. What I'm going to do is squirt this around on the colored paints that I lay down and then we'll see what kind of effects I get. I'm gonna be blowing the paints out a little bit using the skewer, and let's just see what all is involved in this. Like I said, I'm, um, I watch a lot of Sarah Taylor, and that's where I got my inspiration today. So if you get a chance, check out Sarah's channel. She did this painting, uh, actually she did a diptych, two really big paintings to get this effect, and they turned out beautiful. Now I wanna go over what is in the Magic GAC, and this is a Sarah Taylor recipe. It is four parts of the GAC 800, one part of the DecaWart Satin Enamel, and one part of the Golden Fluid Acrylics Titanium White. You mix those three ingredients together and put them in a squirt bottle. So I'll bring you right back when I get, get rid of some of this stuff and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm just going to start uh, laying down my paints here. No particular order. I did want to start with a small canvas until I get confident enough to go go bigger than this. And I believe this is that Elzarin Crimson Hue with the uh, silver added to it. And this is the copper. And I did add some burnt sienna to that copper. And I have my gold here. And I'm going to put some of this Payne's Gray on the top here. Okay. And now I am going to be uh, squirting this Magic Gack. Oh, 
around these paints. Okay, we'll start with that. I'm going to give it a quick torch here. And I will spread these out just a little bit. Put a little bit more down here. Want to make sure I have enough down just to help those paints move. Okay, that looks pretty good to start. What I'm going to do is just use my little apparatus here and just blow some of these paints out. Okay, now I'm just going to add some more of the uh, Magic Yak here, and I'm going to do a little bit of tipping, see what we get. Okay, I'm really liking that. I'm going to add some more here. And I'll even push some up in there. Just to add a little bit more interest into the painting. Okay. Okay, Let's finish adding some here, making sure that the whole canvas is covered.
and I will work on those sides later. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at it here. And I am going to give it a quick torch. It's beautiful so far. Those colors are very, very vibrant. Got some lacing there. I think what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more interest here and add a few more lines. Try and go along with the lines that are already there. You can just see where it adds a little bit more color there. I'll add a little bit more of this green gold. Okay, that's looking a lot better. And I'm gonna try and add some more gold here too. Just playing with the painting. Okay, I'm going to take my skewer and just uh, add a little, add some lines here. Do a little bit more tipping. Okay. And I think I might do a little bit more um, 
flowing out. And I'm going to put a little different apparatus on the end here if I can. I guess I can't. I guess I'll just use my straw. And just do a little more blowing here. As you can see, I wanted to see what it would do, what kind of effect it would get it, do if I blew that uh, GAC Magic up into the colors and then back down again. Okay, I think that uh, I'll give it another torch and then we'll get you down for a close-up and you can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, I wanted to bring you back because I wanted to add more color in this upper area, which I did. And now I'm going to... Um, blow that out a little bit I just felt it was too plain up in here and I was able to get the uh, other little nozzle on my uh, blowing apparatus so let's see what I can add here now Okay, I'm liking that a lot better. Let's see here what I can do with my skewer.
Okay. Give it another torch and we'll get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, we're back for our close up now. And I am showing you the whole painting here. And this is the upper left hand corner. And I will point out some of the nice uh, areas. Got some lacing there and some cells. Again, lots of cells in this area. And I think that is from that uh, Magic GAC 800. This is a nice area in here, a lower left-hand corner. And you can just see how that GAC uh, does such uh, nice effects. And this is a very pretty area in here. More cells and a cloudy effect here. nice in here this is bringing you down the middle I really like the effect in here I think that's so pretty again this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas I'm inspired by Sarah Taylor today And I'm going over to the lower right hand corner and we'll bring you up the right hand side. Here's why I added a little bit more in that corner because it was just too plain to me. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'd appreciate that to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.